Hello friends! Welcome back to my channel. You're gonna get a double intro to this video because this is future Noelle, or as I like to say, present Noelle. Who knows what the past was? <laughs> so this video <laughs> is not indicative of my normal videos because this is a video that sort of just has like clips of me and Gigi working together for a week in my sewing room. We decided to make her a chemise all around. She's wanted one for quite a while. She likes the chemise dress style. She wanted one just like the two that I have already made on this channel. <laughs> so I was videoing it, thinking I was going to make a vlog out of it, but we were also just like hanging out and I was doing stuff and she was doing stuff at the same time and I wasn't great <laughs> about filming. It's mostly just clips of what we're doing and not a lot of explainer about the techniques or how we're doing it. I have made this dress two times before on this channel so I figured you guys probably have that info. <laughs> Nothing has changed from this. This dress is actually worse than the last two because I forgot to flip the lining inside out so that the nice side is towards your body. So her seams are all out. <laughs> it, it went great. We made the dress. She went home and had to do a hem and add some hooks and eyes and I need to do some sashes for her and send them over to her but otherwise that we got the whole thing done and I think four or five days together, maybe not even that, and we didn't, we didn't constantly sew, like, we sewed until the evening and then we went downstairs and watched movies, so, anyway, normally I would be like, this isn't a video that anyone wants to see, but some of you do want to see it, so I thought I would intro it, let you know that this is not a normal video, in case there's those of you who are like, I only want tips and techniques, but if you just want to see two friends sewing a dress that you've already seen one of them sew, this is the video for you. Hello friends! Welcome to the vlog. Today we have a special guest. Gigi's in the house. This is me pointing the camera's focus feature at Gigi. <laughs> and back at myself. Okay, so <laughs> this week we are going to make Gigi a dress. We have made this dress twice before on this uh, channel. So we are going to make her a chemise a la reine like mine and you want a front closing? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so we are modifying the pattern in the exact same way we are doing mine, but um, basically we're going to go through all the steps of how this happens. Have you made um, an entire gown like this before? Okay. Yeah. So, <laughs> I thought I would try to film as much of this as humanly possible while still getting this dress done while Gigi's here, because, you know, that's the actual end goal. The first thing we're going to do is pop her into her stays. We're going to say hello to Keanu, who's outside screaming outside my door at all him? times. Nah. Um, and uh, then we're gonna get her measurements so we can figure out what size she is because that's the first step of like any given project. Okay, so what we determined is that Gigi and I are the exact same measurements, which means I can put her in any of my dresses and she should just work. Which also has me weirded out because there are parts of her body, <clears throat> very flattering parts, that I don't have that I thought we would be different measurements and we are, in fact, not. Well, at least in stays. <laughs> okay, so Gigi has cutting copies of my pattern, which has pattern adjustments, which we know fit her. So we are skipping the mock-up stage. Kids, don't try this at home. We've also washed and dried a bunch of linen. So we can make a petticoat and also the lining for this year dress. So we're going to iron that and then we're going to cut out lining pieces to make the lining. When ironing your pattern pieces, do it on the lowest setting and then throw a book on it. You can move that book, just move it. And then just move to the next one.
Angie is currently zigzagging the edges like a good finisher of seams. Now Gigi is sewing her lining together. It's literally like eight seams, eight seams, one, no, six seams. There are six seams in this lining. Now Gigi is learning about ironing. She is being amazing and ironing her seams flat and then open. And she will very shortly here have a bodice lining to which we can attach a very pleated back. Are you excited, Gigi? Yes, this is my first ham. Oh, she's having her first ham, yes. everyone. It must be Easter because she's having ham dinner. There it is. All right, so we've made a list for, for this week that we need to do for Gigi. Um, we have got a minus bodice lining done. Next thing that we will do, we might do this and then some of that, I'm not sure. I am also concurrently making a petticoat out of this ball of of linen here for her to wear underneath it. That's where we got to today. So I think we're going to cut out and go watch Zootopia because we have a Shakira lover in the house. Are you excited about Zootopia? Yes, I am. Yes, yes, yes. Okay. We are at tea. We picked up an Erica. We also picked up a husband. And we're at tea. We haven't gotten our tea yet. I'll show you the tea when we get the tea. We ordered like, okay, I ordered a lot of things and they ordered like a normal amount of things. But that seems on brand. Okay, here's our delicious foods. As you can see, everyone else has a legitimate amount of food and I have just like an obscene amount. Hello, we are back from tea. Um, it was delicious. Did you like it? Yes, very much so. So we are to the point where we have a lining that was made and now Gigi is sort of fan pleating her back piece, which is like the next thing that I suggest you do so that um, those are sharp. Then that's done and she can sit there and stitch this out while we watch movies or whatever we're gonna do. This is one of the tedious parts of this process, so might as well get that knocked out quickly. This is her final pleated back. We're about to iron it in, and then she's going to stitch it down. Did you sew down all of her pleats, and they look so good. Um, we are now pinning down the bodice pattern pieces so she can cut these out. I am giving her assignments to do while I'm gone because I'm going to go to the dentist. So we have written out a lot of things that we have to do, our steps that are left. But these things are actually not that bad compared to what has happened before. So cool. And the ones that are marked with numbers are the ones that she can do while I'm gone. All right, so while she's cutting that out, I am actually going to cut off all this excess fabric that is around the pleated back so that we are merely at a place where the back is covered and can be uh, covered by the other panels when we sew those on. Okay, Gigi has made the front panels for both sides and is now attaching those panels to the dress, the bodice lining to make the bodice. <laughs> it's really visible. Like this dress is actually not that complicated. There's just like 1,000 steps. Actually, there's this many steps. <laughs> but you basically like either top stitch or fell stitch the whole thing up from this point just for the bodice. And then you attach the skirt. So we are carrying on. Meanwhile, I am taking three widths of fabric that are long enough to go on Gigi and sewing front seams on them together. Oh no, I forgot to leave the slit open. Good thing I'm not done with this one. Okay, so I'm doing three widths of fabric and I'm sewing front seams on them to make the skirts so that the skirts are like ready to attach to the bodice whenever she's done. Okay, so I have the skirts done. This folded neat pile is skirts three panels that have all been French seamed together with a nine inch slit in the center front opening for me to be able to 
know where the registration is for that. I have zigzagged the top. I have made this as good as I can without actually putting gathering stitches in. So I think now I'm going to work on sleeves. BJ is currently downstairs sewing the bodice together, like stitching it by hand, because once you gather it, you have to stitch all those gathers down by hand. So <laughs> she's downstairs doing that. So that's happening. Um, I have two sleeves that she cut out and I have some ribbon that we bought. I'm going to go zigzag these sleeves and then I'm going to put the ribbon across the sleeve eight inches above the cuff and attach a cuff and then sew the sleeve shut. And that is the totality of making the sleeves. She's already put in gathering stitches so that's already done. Um, and she's already cut the sleeve band so everything is cool and ready for me to create these sleeves so that's what I'm going to do. Okay so I'm just taking this, I folded over the edge and put tucked it in and I left enough room for seam allowance. And then I'm gonna just sew on either edge of this as close to it as I can possibly get to make a little tunnel to put some elastic in. Okay, we're on our last day together. So we are attempting to finish this dress up today. We don't have very many things left. Gigi's pinning in her sleeves now. That's what's happening. These sleeves are really easy because they're symmetrical. See, and they're heavily gathered, so they're hard to mess up, which is a great intro to sleeves thing for anybody who's looking for a sleeve project. Meanwhile, I am giving Ruffles a baby hum, and then we'll go ahead and run gathering stitches down the center for Ruffles to go on this dress. Gigi is now sewing in the sleeves. We have basted them in and they look good. Everybody's happy. I am now cutting out sashes, which are remarkably like Ruffles. Gathering threads are going into the skirts. Look who applied skirts to her gown. She basted them in and so now there's a full sew to do. Like a non-basting, a regular stitch, words that mean things, are going to happen right now. And then we will set the hem and put some closures on and we are completamente. Hey, there's a girl with a dress. Be careful, we just marked that hem, don't make the hem things come out. Uh, we do need to do the hooks and eyes here, and we need to do the hem. But she's going to do some of this at home, and we're going to go watch some TV, and that's going to be the end of this vlog. So, yeah. That's what I have to say about that. Okay, I hope that was awesome for you. Those of you who got here, comment down below that you got to the end. You can comment to the end, like we used to. Um, if you have comments on the things that you are reading, watching, listening to, anything like that, do let me know so I can go ahead and check those things out. Another video should be to you soon. I am back from my trip to Seattle, so I am going to go ahead and finish those stays. So that shouldn't take me that long, so you'll be getting another video fairly soon here. Otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Bye, guys!